Welcome to Warriors TV. Tonight we are talking with Lions head coach Matt Bradbury. Matt, first of all, uh, thank you for joining us. I know it couldn't have been uh, easy watching that game at times. Talk us through it. Yeah, it was tough. Uh, tough second period, wasn't it? But uh, let's focus on period one and three. Yeah, so <laughs> well, talk us through period one. Period one, obviously, a bit of a slow start. PP on the goal on the back door from Edgar. Great uh, little set play there. And uh, I think uh, defensively, uh, back door, the defenseman was a little bit asleep there. And... Uh, Obviously, then uh, you know we start to get into the game a little bit more. And then obviously went went the second goal down, and then uh, we were three before we knew it. Um, not enough uh, offense uh, shots on goal, and then but we, but after that we woke up second ten minutes in the first period, and we were we were at the races and we were getting in there, and uh, obviously a nice little interlink play, and, and Zach gets the break and, and scores a lovely goal, and then uh, probably uh, then start to put a bit of pressure on offensively, and then. Uh, I think Toby Fisher stepped in, dinged the post as well, so we, it would be nice to have gone in at 3-2. Um, but all in all, pretty pretty pleased with the end of the first uh, period and uh, yeah, and wanted, to, wanted more of that. And then uh, just an absolute abomination really in the uh, in the second period. Can't switch off and uh, you know we, we talk about learning a lot and you know we learn that if you if you switch off you you're going to get hit for uh, hit for six literally and that's that's what it was and you know. It's a tough place to come and it's a tough place to play, um, but it's even tougher when you're nine-one down at the end of the second period. So it was a, a talk about just getting ourselves, to, and the aim was to, uh, you know, have a bit more impact in the game and and work and show some pride and, and try and get the scoreline back. Back and then, obviously, the tenth one went in. It was an unlucky bounce came out in front of the net on an empty goal, uh, which about typified the luck of the evening. And then, uh, but they stuck to plan. They stuck to task. They kept going. Uh, two 0 down. They, they obviously got another another goal and uh, just kept going, just kept going. I was proud of I'm proud of um, a lot of the players tonight, but uh, we heaped uh, a lot a lot of pressure on ourselves uh, in areas that that, that uh, we didn't really need to, especially pulling the put back a lot into our defensive zone. So um, we just had a good chat with the players and some of the players coming out asking a few questions. So they're really keen to to learn. And one of the guys in particular, you know, in defence, he um, he got bumped around a lot more than he would do normally. It's his first visit to Whitley Bay, so it was a nice little welcome for him. And uh, and he'll take that away with him, and I'm sure he'll learn a lot. So we've uh, we talked about a few things on on, on areas for improvement, and, and we'll do that. You know, it's uh, it's how tight we can stay together as a team, and uh, we won't see this as a setback. We'll just see this as a as a step forward. Yeah, you said there at the end of the first period, crucial goal going to matter three one, which made it more of a contest. And like you say, with the post could have been three two, would have had a completely different complexion on the game going into a second. Yeah, yeah, it turned it and it turned it as I mean, we, you know, but that's that's the way it goes, you know. But it just shows again. Last week we had a smaller rink, uh, less shots. Um, we came with a smaller bench, but uh, but I don't think that was anything to do with it. I mean, a couple of players didn't, you know, were struggling out there and um, you know probably weren't at their at their best. But then there were some players that you know that have, have really grown into into you know really strong players now that are, that are really putting in some performances. So you know we keep building on that. Jack Croson's having a great start to the season. Uh, Zach's starting to get into a better flow. Toby Fisher got stuck in more tonight. Um, Tristan Grimshaw again is 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 working hard and and throughout the forwards. But uh, defensively we just got to smarten up, tighten up, and. Uh, and stop doing the simple things. We're, uh, we're overplaying. We're trying to do too much with a puck, and we've just got to go back to simple things. And that's what we'll do when we go back into the, the ice centre on uh, Thursday night. Yeah, midpoint of the game, you uh, you changed the goalies and also kind of called a timeout. So uh, was I thinking just to try and stem the bleeding, get regroup, and just uh, change it up a little bit? Yeah, well, it's tough. It's tough for a netminder to go in cold anyway. When we yeah. saw that, he, he had to pick the puck out the back back of the net even after the timeout, probably two three times in quick succession. You know, and that's one area we've got to we've got to look at. I mean, uh, like I say, the timeout was. Uh, we were trying to just get it together, just just piece it together. And normally that that just helps a little bit, but it didn't. But they were going after us, and, and they did a good job, and, uh, and 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 they worked hard. They grafted all night long, so the big improvement from Whitley as well, looking good. And uh, you know, as well, you know, as the season wears on, they're going to get a few more players back as well from injuries and things like that. So, you know, I suppose uh, we look ourselves uh, quite happy now that we've. We've got Whitley Bay done and dusted with away from home in the first month of the season. Yes, I suppose that's one good way of looking at it. Um, looking ahead to next weekend, um, you'll be trying to bounce back, and uh, who do you need to take on next week? Yeah, back into Widnes. Um, so you know it's going to be another small, small, you know, small game, small, uh, small ring to play in. Um, we want to put things right from when they played us in our barn. So we have to show up. We can't just uh, rock up into a rink and, and things are just going to happen. We've got to make things happen. So. Uh, 
uh, you know we've got to, we've got to work hard in training this week and uh, we've got to get back to it. Uh, witness uh, should be a good game. Looking forward to it. Um, we have some good games to witness, so uh, yeah. be no different. So we're looking forward to it. Well, best of luck with that, uh, Matt, and thank you as always for giving us your time. Cheers, Adam. Thank you. Thank you.